from the Roswell conspiracy to mysterious signals from outer space, are we alone in the universe? Are aliens real? From Roswell to fossils, dramatic evidence from some of the biggest UFO mysteries point to only one conclusion. Humans have been trying to find out whether or not we're alone in the universe for centuries. Aboard the Voyager 1 space probe, which has traveled further than any other man-made object, is a golden disk containing information about humans and the cultures of our planet. It was hoped by NASA engineers in the 70s that it would once day come into contact with intelligent life and educate them about humankind. As well as sending out potential communications to other worlds, many people have reported evidence of aliens here on Earth. Recently, the mummified remains of what was believed to be an alien proved to be a small child. The skeleton measured just six inches in height, and was found 15 years ago in Chile. UFO experts were convinced the mummified skeleton was extraterrestrial in origin, and a documentary suggested it was an alien. Following five years of research, scientists concluded that the figure, nicknamed Ata, was actually a baby girl. Even though Ata turned out to be a story of human tragedy rather than of alien visitors, there are plenty of other mysterious sightings that have yet to be explained. Evidence of Aliens on Earth Roswell, New Mexico. In July 1947 Sheriff Jess Slaughter and Deputy Sheriff Charles Fogus were traveling together to pick up a prisoner when they heard on their police radio reports of a crashed aircraft. The two men, who were traveling to Roswell, New Mexico, decided to investigate and stumbled across the scene of one of the most famous UFO incidents in history. While the U.S. military have long claimed the crashed object was merely a weather balloon, conspiracy theorists believe the site was the scene of at least one alien aircraft crash and the recovery of extraterrestrials. In a new book, UFOs Today, 70 Years of Lies, Misinformation and Government Cover-Up, law enforcement officer Fogus reveals he saw a downed flying saucer and military personnel removing a number of alien bodies from the scene. It is the first time his statement has been published. In the interview he says he say a flying saucer crashed into the side of a riverbed which was 100 feet across. Describing the scene he said, when we got there, the land was covered with soldiers. They were hauling a big, a creature. The bodies must have been five feet tall. I saw the legs and feet on some of them. They looked like our feet. The skin was a brownish color like they were in the sun too long. There were soldiers there dot dot about three or four hundred of them. We seen them haul them, the bodies, out there, out of the canyon up to the trucks dot dot putting them on the tow trucks so they could haul them. The story of the discovery at Roswell has become legend, and remain one of the most compelling conspiracy theories about the existence of alien visitors to Earth. Evidence of Aliens on Mars, Trace Fossils Thanks to satellite imagery and on-site photography captured by the NASA rovers on the planet's surface, there have been many claims that aliens once inhabited Mars. One of the most striking is the idea that fossilized remains of aliens have been preserved on the dusty surface of the Red Planet. A series of pictures taken by the space agency's Curiosity rover have given rise to the idea, after researchers found what looks like fossils among the rocks. Barry de Gregorio, a research fellow at the University of Buckingham, believes these photos, taken on January 2, 2018, reveal trace fossils on the surface of Mars. They look remarkably similar to our division trace fossils I have studied and photographed here on Earth, he said. If not trace fossils, what other geological explanations will NASA come up with? NASA described the formations as stick-like figures with each one about a quarter inch long. The space agency used the Mars Hand Lens Imager, MALI, camera on board the Curiosity rover to take the close-up pictures of the patterns. Trace fossils are the name given to remains of things left behind by creatures such as dead remains, footprints or burrows. Evidence of Aliens in Space, the WOW Signal and FSBs
Some of the biggest evidence of alien life comes through signals we intercept originating from distant corners of the galaxy. Often, these are known as fast radio bursts or FSBs for short. Back in 1977, astronomer Jerry Emmon received such a strong radio signal coming in from the heavens, he wrote the word wow. Next to his results. The burst of activity lasted 72 seconds and, although it came from the Sagittarius constellation, it matched no known celestial object. It's gone on to become a conspiracy theory favorite as proof of advanced alien life trying to communicate with us. But now Professor Antonio Paris from the St. Petersburg College in Florida believes he's solved the mystery. I have always been fascinated with astronomy, space and, more importantly, whether there is life in the universe, he told the Sunday Times. After 40 years, the wow signal was a cold case I wanted to reopen. According to Professor Paris, the signal came from the hydrogen cloud created by two comets as they passed by Earth. Using celestial records, he found that these two comets were passing by our planet on August 15, 1977, the day the WOW! signal was recorded. Of course, at the time, there was no knowledge that these comets even existed. Even without the WOW! signal, scientists have been intercepting strange FSBs for years. Some have been detected from an object called FRB 121102 and now a new study has found that the object is nearly 100% polarized. This polarization suggests that the source of the bursts lies within a strong magnetic field, such as around a massive black hole, and could belong to aliens. The findings were made by the Breakthrough Listen team at the University of California, Berkeley, as well as another team of astronomers from the Netherlands. What do most people think about aliens? Nearly half of humans believe that intelligent extraterrestrial life exists elsewhere in the universe, according to a study that asked 26,000 people across 24 countries. When they were asked if they believed in the existence of intelligent alien civilizations in the universe, 47% of the survey respondents said yes. However, when those taking the survey were asked if they believed in some form of life on other planets, 61% said yes. Among those who reckon we aren't alone, 60% said we should try and communicate with aliens, something that is actually being attempted at the non-profit Search for Extraterrestrial Intelligence SETI, Institute. Marta Jean Lampert, research director at Glocalities, which carried out the survey, commented, People who believe in the existence of intelligent alien civilizations are not a marginal minority, but constitute a large, 47%, and distinct segment of unconventional and anti-authoritarian thinkers with a passion for science, technology, culture, politics and the arts. Only a quarter of respondents said they didn't believe that alien life exists beyond Earth's borders. Are aliens real? We may not have come into contact with them yet, but it seems certain that some form of life exists beyond our planet. Whether that live is microbacterial or intelligent in its own right remains to be seen. What's for sure is that human beings won't stop trying to reach out and communicate with any other species that might be listening. The truth is out there.